What's up guys, NBA talk with the last video of the night and boy oh boy, I did not see this game coming like this, like wow. The Boston Celtics were able to pull out a crazy win over the Oklahoma City Thunder. I thought this game was a wrap in halftime. I thought they were going to blow these, blow the Boston Celtics out the building. Carmelo was doing it, um, Russell Westbrook was doing it, and Paul George was doing it. All three of them was killing this um, Boston Celtics team. Boston Celtics seemed sloppy. They seemed, um, yeah, they, they seemed like they were not really that organized in this game. Um, they were just making mistakes in the first half, big time. And the Oklahoma City Thunder, they took everything they had. Steve Adams was a beast in the first half. He was doing so much. And then the second half happened. The second half happened. The third quarter where they just went on a crazy streak. And the defense kicked it. They kicked it all the way up. And all of a sudden, Carmelo Anthony can't hit a shot for the life of him. Russell Westbrook couldn't hit a, a single shot for the life of him. At least not all the time. Paul George was literally the only person that was really scoring for this team. Like, it, it the third quarter completely changed the in, entire game. It was like it was a it was a competitive game for the uh, Boston Celtics. And then the fourth quarter, Al Horford. You have to give that boy some credit. That boy did awesome in that fourth quarter. And then Kyrie Irving sealed the deal in the end with the clutch. So, it, 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 wow. I have to watch this over again because I'm trying to figure out what the hell happened. Oh, man. They, it, the, the Oklahoma City Thunder fell apart at the end, in the end. I thought they were going to win for sure, but shoot. So, the Boston Celtics win, like I, always said, like I said before. 101 to 94. That defensive picked up. And they made Oklahoma City Thunder make mistake after mistake after mistake. Shot miss, shot miss. Wow. Um, Kyrie Irving, 25 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, a block shot. Um, Al Horford, boy, that boy deserved credit. 20 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists. He was doing a whole bunch of playmaking. He was 4 for 4 from the 3-point range. Uh, Jason Tatum gave you 13 points. He was 4 for 10 from the field. 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Uh, Jalen Brown, 10 points, 12 rebounds, assists, and a steal. And you have this guy, Bynes, like, poor soul. This guy was getting banged all the time. Like, Morris needs to be in the starting lineup. No, no, actually... Yeah, that's what I was saying before. Morris should be starting at the five, maybe. Like, have him at the five. Keep Al Horford at the four. They, they, they just need a better center. Um, Bynes, he, he needs to be coming off the bench. That's when he was really good in the first couple of games of the season. Bynes needs to come off the bench, not be in the starting lineup, because he's getting, eaten, he's getting beat down by Steve Adams in the first half. Man, he only played 21 minutes, too. Um, the bench, pretty solid. Uh, Royzer with seven points and nine points from Marcus Smart with nine with five rebounds and five assists. Uh, Morris made his debut, uh, nine points, four rebounds. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, the team shot 42% from the field, 46% from the three-point range. 49 rebounds, 23 assists on 10 turnovers. This game does a lot for the Boston Celtics. They just took on a top-tier play um NBA team overall, not just the West Coast, but overall. The Oklahoma City Thunder is a dangerous group. Like they could just destroy you or something, man. And the Boston Celtics are able to get this win. This is a tough win. They were down hard. But they came back, took the lead, and kept it there. That is a phenomenal job. You have to give Steve Adams, I'm um, not Steve Adams, Steve, uh, Brad Stevens, the head coach.
You have to give him a lot of credit. And Kyrie Irving, Al Horford doing amazing job tonight. Absolutely amazing. So that's it for the Boston Celtics. The Thunder, i still trying to figure out what the hell happened. Um, Paul George, he was doing it for the team. 25 points, 10 rebounds, an assist, and a steal tonight. Um, Carmelo Anthony was 3 for 17. 10 points, 14 rebounds, and 3 assists. Russell Westbrook, he was looking like he was going to make a triple-double. And then, nah. 19 points, 11 assists, 6 rebounds, close. 6 turnovers, 5 personal fouls. Um, Andre Robinson, 7 points. Um, Steve Adams with 7 points, 10 rebounds in 33 minutes. 2 block shots, too. Off the bench, you got Pat Patterson. Oh, no, not Pat Patterson. Patrick Pat Terson, six points. 11 points from Felton, uh, not Felton, Grant. Three points for Felton. And that's pretty much it. I still don't know what the hell happened to this team. They just, like, fell off the map a little bit. Especially in that third quarter. Wow. 40% from the field, 37% from the three-point range, 48 rebounds, 20 assists, 12 turnovers. I'm going to rewatch this again on YouTube. See what hell. <laughs> this is a great win for the Boston Celtics who are now 7 and 2. I think they're the I think they have the best record in the NBA overall. I know they're the top in the East, but I think they have the best record as of right now in the NBA. I have to check that back. Um Uh actually I'm, I'm about to do it right now. Let's see um uh, hold up. Okay, seven and two. The Detroit Pistons right behind them. The Orlando Magic third. Toronto Raptors fourth. Philadelphia 76ers um, fifth. Sixth is the Charlotte Hornets. Indiana Pacers seven. And the Washington Wizards are eighth. And my Knicks are ninth. Right above the um, Cavaliers. Yeah, they have the best record. Um, Houston Rockets have seven and three, seven and two. Boston Celtics. Wow. Wow. It might it might not be for long because you know the Golden State Warriors are coming. They're definitely coming, and I'm surprised the L.A. Lakers, not the L.A. Lakers, the L.A. Clippers, are number two. I'm surprised at that. Houston Rockets. I'm not that surprised. Boston Celtics, I'm surprised. Like they have turned this entire thing over. They went zero and two for their start and then hit seven straight wins. That's incredible. Incredible people. That's it for me. Peace.